morning. Morning. Happy Saturday. Saturday. Ooh, you guys, I just dropped my baby off. And I just really don't know how I feel about it. Chad has me going to this ratchet gun class this morning. Today. I'm not even <coughs> going to say this morning. Like, this class is a million hours. <coughs> so, yes, a million hours. Because we all know that it's went from 24 hours in the day to a million hours. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm like, not stressing, because I don't want to say I'm stressing, but I am a little uptight She's working right herself now. into a stupor. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. But it sounds good. Um, yeah, I am just... Uh, she dropped her baby off for the first time, and now she's all. And it's not oh even the first time. Oh like, um, it's our our co well our coworker, basically his coworker, and uh, but she's a friend of mine, and she's she's watched him a little bit. Like if I've had like a dentist appointment or a doctor's appointment, you know, maybe for an hour or two at the office. So Chad is still there. So like this is his first time going over to her house, and she's got a son. She's got a two year old son. So she's a mom. I'm confident in her skills. He, Chad, loves her to death. So Chad Jr. loves her to death. So um, I know he'll be fine, but I'm just. She's being cute. She's being a protective mother. I just wasn't ready for these feelings. Like, I'm almost about to be in tears. I just pray that he'll be okay. She'll be, he'll be perfect. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Oh my goodness. He said he'll be okay. Okay. He got, he's almost 18. You got to let the boy go, sweetie. <laughs> Shut up. You got to let the boy go. Shut up. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're so cute. That's why you're such a good mom. Thank you, sweetie. I told her to call me if he gets <laughs> out of hand or if anything to just call me. I will leave that class in a second. Because I really. That's why. Be doing that's why you're else. you're a milk, sweetie. I'm a milk. You're a milk. What the heck is that? Mom, I'd like to kiss. <laughs> you just made that up. I'm a milk. <laughs> Some milk. Get milk. You are another thing too, but I can't say that on air. <laughs> you could if you wanted to be ratchet, but you know. Be um, ratchet. So we took our written test. And now we're getting ready to go shoot. We're at this range. We both passed our written test, by the way. Flying colors. Colors that were flying. Yes, flying colors. And we just went and had lunch. We like scarfed down some food. Look at the three. range. I'm excited. <clears throat> I'm excited. This is my first time ever shooting again. I'm sure, babe, it's like whatever. Yeah, this is your like 800th million time I'm shooting sure a gun, I'm sure. He's <clears> over <throat> it, but I'm excited. Uh, she's yeah, videoing. You're gonna burn What'd you say? If you're gonna prove to him, you're a better shot. Uh huh. <laughs> Look at my cutie. <laughs> it's funny because, like, when you watch TV and stuff, like you don't see it kick back like it's kicking back. If you're looking for it, you do. I guess I've never paid any attention. You never shot a gun. To that. Yeah. You're doing good though. I'm all nervous. Let me zoom in on your target here. Look at that. That target's nice. Yeah, it looks good, man. Damn rounds. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hang up on this one. Huh? All right, drop your mag. There you go. There you go. Yeah, keep it like it right there. 
Okay. All right, drop the magazine. I thought you were done, but I ain't. Oh, I'm done. I'm hot and sweating and look at me, y'all. I'm for real. Sweating. You are. That's so funny. It's like 80 degrees. Good job, I have girl. On, like long sleeve shirt. Good. Good job. I don't think I'll ever shoot a gun ever again. That's all right. We're finally done. Almost seven hours later, the class is finished. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be a long time before I shoot a gun again. Uh, what? Uh, excuse me, what is this? Oh. <laughs> it, it, peanut m and m No, not peanut m it's pretzel m I'm not peanut m it's pretzel m m She did really good. I didn't do very good, actually. I only got like 76 or 79. 79, you did really good. Everybody else was in the 80s and the 90s. I feel bad about myself. At the end of the day, babe, it's a pass fail thing. That's all that matters. I know, but still. I'm sorry, it's your first time shooting a gun ever. These people are from the country. I guarantee they've shot me. They shot a gun. It's true. This was my first time. I just wasn't prepared for all of that kickback. Like, oh, I was shaking and nervous, yo. Oh my goodness. And I couldn't stop looking at her butt, so I didn't know what she was shooting at. Not about the right. I'm so excited to go pick up Chad Ryan, y'all. I cannot wait. Do you still want to be in the? Do you still want to be a cop and be in the military now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I could do it. I could be a police officer, but I can't be in nobody's military. What? Because you don't always got to shoot the gun when you're a cop. All you gotta do is pull it out a lot of times. You don't shoot it as much as you would like if you was at war or something. So, so I can get away with, you know, I can pull, I look good pulling it out. You know, you look real good. I look good holding it, but, uh, <laughs> and we are not advocates of, you know, going out there and we're not promoting violence or no. anything. So, cause I know somebody's gonna be talking crazy, but, um, you know, this is all for safety purposes. At the end of the day, as a man, who loves his wife and his child and his dog and you know wants to make sure that he can do everything he can to protect them it is you know it's within our rights to have you know what we're doing it the legal way it's within our rights to have a you know a firearm in the house it'll be a way to where CJ well will never CJ will never you know nobody will be able to get it <laughs> no. get to it other than you know Gabriel and I, yeah, um, and, and and so when we travel, you guys know we travel a lot. So that's gonna be something else too. I mean, people, how many people get, you know, how many people get attacked at rest stops? Get attacked at you know ATMs? Get attacked? I don't know how I feel about us traveling with it. I know Chad really wants to travel with it, but I just don't feel like it's necessary. It actually is, because your thing is, it's not necessary. You're going to places you've never been. You're going to places that you don't know other people. Like here, you get a comfortability factor. Mm -hmm. So you're like, okay, I'm going to Walmart. I don't need that. <laughs> but you're freaking. But if you're driving into a city you've never been, mm -hmm. and I mean, you, I mean, you just don't know. Just like, just like Mark. Mm -hmm. It was like Weston. The reason Mark got a gun. His buddy Weston went to an ATM in their hometown where they live, mm -hmm. and somebody came up and tried and and, and robbed them to. at the ATM. Mm -hmm. They were in their car. V would have had his personal firearm. Oh, they weren't like at the walk-up ATM? He was no, like he was in, in his the car. car. The guy oh. ran up and, you know, most people put their... And that's why I don't put my car in park at the ATM. That's why I don't put my car in park. Some oh, people put it in park. I do too. I don't I put, put it in I park. I put mine in park. I don't I, put it in park. I just, I put leave it and drive. That way if somebody runs up on me, I can, can hit the gas. Skirt. And I'm okay with leaving that's my smart. card and, and that because I can call the bank immediately and that's get them turned all I off. I never thought about that. But I'd rather... You know, it's it's a safety thing, so I don't ever put it in park. So that's a recommendation. Hmm. From but but at the end of the day, I just you know, we, believe me. Yeah. I've been to war. I've done you know, <laughs> I've done done my thing. You know, when 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 I needed to. My point is, I just want to be able to protect my family. Yeah. So if anybody has a problem with me wanting to protect my family, then I don't care. Sorry for you, because <laughs> yeah. you're the one with the issue. Uh, <laughs> but no, I said that because, yeah, my mom brought it up to me yesterday. Well, I was telling her about it yesterday, and she was saying that even when she was a cop, because my mother was a was a deputy for like 13 years of my life, like from 
you know, from when I was a baby up until I was 13. And she said she never took the gun out when she was out with me and Gracie. Unless she was on duty, like when she was off duty, she never carried her weapon with her. Because she just didn't feel like she needed it. She was like, I mean, I felt like we were protected by God. We were covered by the blood. So, I didn't need it when I was with, when I was off duty. So, that's why I just thought it was interesting. But I could see both sides. Well, the thing is, we're not, like I told her earlier... I'm not gonna carry it everywhere. It's not. No, it's not gonna just be in the car. It's not just gonna be there to be there. No. But the point is, when we travel, you know, it will. to be eating these It will come. It will come along. You know, if we're going on a, a major road trip, because, I mean, we're going to, to places unknown, and it's better to be safe than sorry to have it there. You hopefully you don't even have to pay attention to it. Yeah. But the point is, is the fact that you have it. You have the legal right to have it, and just in case, you know, the unfortunate case where you had to use it or, or at least you show that you have it then you have it yeah. what's the point of you know having it or having the ability to protect yourself and if you're not, not gonna, if it, you're not going to even take it with you what's the point of that you might as well not even get the permit that's true which is well, I'm glad I got to shoot it so I'm you know definitely more comfortable than I would have been <laughs> she, did, she did good like she, cool. she did real good she did good too I should have seen his paper it was all like Gone in the middle, like dead on. Center mass. Tight. Mine, Anybody mine, was in the military. Mine was all over the place. Center mass and a tight shot group. Anybody in the military can appreciate that. So. <sighs> you did good. You look really hot. Thanks, but you know it's really sexy watching you with that gun, which I feel like is crazy. But it is something about a man that <laughs> knows so how funny. to protect you, I guess. That's what it... I mean, you don't have to have a gun to protect somebody, but it's just something about that. Probably because of the background, too. You want, makes you it, want me to pull over? Makes it mysterious. You want me to pull over? <laughs> no, we've got to go get our son. We're about to pull over. See y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no. Drive me to this house so I can pick up my baby. We about to make another CJ. I am so excited to see him. So I'm getting ready to have my lunch. <laughs> he wants my food. He is like, he is like going after my food these days. Like, baby, this is mommy's food. You can't have this. You can't have it, baby. Like, what? Like, this all started this week. He started like reaching for my oatmeal one morning, and now every morning he thinks he's supposed to eat oatmeal with me. And when I'm drinking water, like bottled water, he opens his mouth like he's supposed to have some. Look at him. He's like for real stalking my food. If you're wondering what I'm eating, this comes from <laughs> watching It's Judy's Life because Judy eats this for breakfast. Um, it's a over easy egg oops it's an over easy egg with avocado and brown rice so you mix it all up and the yolk breaks and stuff and it's it's actually really really good so we're sitting here i'm trying to catch up on some of my youtube watch some of my uh, vlogs that i watch and eat my lunch babe went for a ride he went to ride his bike so we're just chilling right now just hanging out i think when babe gets back i'll probably go to the gym and run today is my day to run so i'm not feeling it but i have to get it done 20 miles 20 miles in an hour and one minute i beat, beat my last one by a minute did you good yeah. job babe thank you <laughs> see them pumped up legs that's what i'm saying man everybody trying to look at your legs what did you say? you're so funny <laughs> good job babe thank you. what you guys do oh we're just hanging out <clears throat> They were hanging out. The baby's eating. Well, he was eating. Now he's distracted Ain't by daddy. Butter. Ain't that a butter? You gotta finish eating, baby. Uh, can I have that butter? I, love you, I know. He is so easily distracted hey, these days. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you, dad. What you do? What you do? Come on, so you can finish eating now. Got that too, baby. For real. So I got these new grape nuts fit. <clears throat> and they are actually pretty scrumptious. So I've been chowing down on that after I had my protein after my rizide. So now, let me show you the box. Because I had never heard of them. 
until I got on the Great Nuts website. Yes, I got on the Great Nuts website. And yeah, so here they are. Great Nuts Fit Cranberry Vanilla. It's supposed to be good, pretty good for you. Six gram of protein. It's got all this good stuff right here. Some some iron, some fiber, all that carrot. Hmm. Whatever. We'll see. Better than Captain Crunch. Well, doesn't taste better maybe, but at least better for you. So let's put a load of laundry in, and uh, we got uh, we got crap bag number one <laughs> and crap bag number two over here taking naps. Running. Mommy's tired right now. She needs to get her a quick little power nap and then go run. I can't go back to sleep. Why? I don't know. I'm trying. Just shut your mouth and go to sleep. <laughs> shut up. I can't sleep with your racket. You will go to sleep or I will put you to sleep. <laughs> That's from a movie. That's from uh, Happy Gilmore. That's what Adam uh, Ben Stiller Adam says. Stiller. So Ben Adam Stiller says to Adam Sandler's grandmother. It's like, you will go to sleep, or I will put you to sleep. <laughs> I don't think I've seen all of that movie. You haven't seen I all of it? I have seen all of it. Because he becomes, is this where he plays the golf? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen you, ain't seen all, you ain't seen any so. movie, sweetie. Babe, I'm good. I'm good, babe. <laughs> no, actually, you're not, sweetie. <laughs> no, actually, you haven't. I can't stand it. So, uh, yeah. Other than that, let me show you my new shoes. Did you guys see my new shoes? These are sweet. <clears throat> Look at these bad boys. These are my bike shoes. So it's got the the clippers pedal on the back on the bottom. Yeah, those are pretty sweet. Pretty comfortable too. Finally going to the gym now. And oh I almost didn't make it, but I'm like, I gotta go and do something. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do my whole run, but I'm gonna do something because my um, I'm on the I'm starting back on the couch to 10k program that <laughs> I started in like 2010 y'all and I still have not finished doing that program yet so the plan is to finish that what are y'all doing in the middle of the street here these little kids are in the middle of the street so yeah the plan is to do that I'm starting at week six so the run tonight is supposed to be like 73 minutes and it's it's off on it's not continuous but oh i don't know if i'm feeling that i'm not feeling that today at all oh and i have on different hair <laughs> because this is my workout hair and i'm just i'm not working out in that other wig speaking of the wig you guys' comments on the uh, wig review are hilarious to me like i'm not really sure why everybody is so adverse to like people that have natural hair wearing different styles it's like as soon as somebody switches it up people go crazy for whatever reason and i mean you know everybody's entitled to their own opinion but i just think it's funny like <laughs> i just think it's hilarious like yes my natural hair is the bomb it's great when it's straightened it's great when it's in twist outs but sometimes you want to break from your natural hair and sometimes you want to wear you know something different like i switch my hair out very often and <laughs> it's just funny to me because i'm like you guys don't understand i've only been natural maybe well three years it'll be three years in july and of those three years i've really only been comfortable wearing my natural hair probably the last two years but before that like maybe from college on up until then which was probably a good 10 years i wore weaves i always had weaves um it was the norm for me weaves and then i started getting into wigs uh, maybe two two years ago, but extensions is normal for me So it's funny to hear people say that they prefer my natural hair because It's I mean, it's becoming the norm now like I'm much more comfortable rocking my natural hair because I love it now but before I mean Gabriel always had hair so people that know me Seeing me with natural hair is still a difference to them. So it's just funny to hear the different comments that I 
um, that I get. But I thank all the people that, you know, gave me suggestions and everything because this was my first full lace wig. I usually wear like lace fronts and they seem to lay flatter than the full lace that I'm wearing. So I'm still trying to figure out how to, you know, make it completely work for me without leaving hair out because that's ridiculous. If I got to leave hair out, I might as well wear my U part and I don't want to leave out. So I want a wig that I can just put on and not have to leave anything out. And then another thing, y'all, I don't really have no edges. I was thinking about that. Like, it's hard for me to push a wig back and, you know, leave baby hairs and stuff because I don't have very many of them. <laughs> like, you guys see my hairline. It's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty thick. And, like, my edges are longer than, like, the shortest layer in that wig. So, I still got to work with it. Um, when I made that video, I had really just put it on to make the video because I knew I had to make the video. But I didn't really make it look as good as I know that I could. So, it's just funny to hear people's comments. But it's okay versatility is good like people change their hair and you shouldn't be so attached to somebody else's hair like <laughs> I love my hair but I also love taking a break from it so I mean that's that's all it's just it's just hair people it's just hair <laughs> say hello old face they've been missing you they've been missing you they've been missing you old face He's still here. We still love him. I told y'all Oscar ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. Ain't that right, Pope? Ain't that right, Pope? They ain't going nowhere, folks. <laughs> Such a cutie pie. Cutie patootie. What's Siege over there doing? He's on his new little mat. Playing with his new friend. Does he keep pushing that or are you pushing that? He keeps pushing it? Oh yeah, he likes him. You got the Mr. Mr. on the on the grizzle. On the grizzle, on the oven, cause we ain't got no grill. So that works. So now I have to get the side stuff together. That's right. I gotta shuck the corn. What does shucking mean? Just taking the I don't think you do that yet. Yeah. It says two ears of corn, shuck, and clean. Oh, yeah, you take off all that green stuff. <laughs> Ain't that what I just said? You better shuck it. You better, you better shuck that and shuck your mouth, woman. <laughs> and half a red onion. You better be flat. What kind of cookie you want on yours? Medium is nice. Okay. Might be close to medium right here. What are you doing? Been thinking out there. Okay. So I didn't know how to shuck a corn, right? So I Googled it. And they said to cut it like like an inch above the last thing that roll of kernel. Microwave it for two to four minutes and then just kind of like shake it out. Y'all, it's so easy. I'm really excited about this because look at how easy that's coming out. Yeah, buddy! Oh, that's, cool. that's awesome! So here's the other one. The mug is hot though. Woo! I'm hold it with a bag or something. Throw it in a bag. <laughs> okay, so this one's not working as easily as the other one, but there we go. Just gotta push it a little bit. Push it on now. Here we go. Shucked corn in four minutes. Look at that. <laughs> There's probably like an easier way to do that, but I've never shucked corn before, so hey, it worked for me. And Maybe it's babe's good. working on this last good steak. Looking better. Look like he's burning them go. up. No, it's just the outside, babe. No. I'm telling you. Look inside. See? Kind of still pink and bloody. Uh, just like I told you. Uh, ooh. Anyway, I'm about to make me a peach moon. If you guys are familiar with that, I found about it, found out about it on Pinterest, which is basically a blue moon with peach schnapps 
and a little bit of orange juice. I'm using orange mango. So that has to be really, really good. I haven't had one in a very long time, so I'm looking forward to it with my good old steak. What'd you say? That one's better. Oh. What? Than the first one you had? Mm -hmm. You're so funny. That's good. That means you need some old alcohol in it if he thinks it's better. Dinner is served. Dinner. It looks good, babe. Yeah, it does. Yeah, thank you. Hope it is. I hope so too. So We're supposed to have like a corn and onion and black eyed pea salad, but. We decided to skip that and just eat the corn on the cob and the onions and call it a day. So <sighs> that's probably the end of our night. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys, and we'll see you later. Bye. See ya. Say bye, old face. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Siege says bye too. He's napping over there. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Oh, is he up? Might be. Oh. Yep, he watching TV. Nice TV. <laughs> Hi, <Fly. Hey. laughs> what you doing, baby? Are you flying, Mr. Mister? What you doing, baby? Look at that out my face, man. No photos.